What's up guys, it's Lark and we're back today with a little review of Season 7. If you enjoyed today's video, please do make sure to leave a like, leave a comment down below on your thoughts of Haven along with the other things that have been added in Season 7 and make sure to subscribe if you're new. Now before we get into the nitty gritty stuff, a visual recoil on the weapons that have been added, let's talk about Haven. Now, I would just like to clarify too, before I have 40-year-old Tony the Bricklayer coming into my comment section, my thoughts and opinions here on Haven are coming from someone who has played since Battlefield Bad Company 1. I know this isn't as long as some of you watching this, however, I've still played a hell of a lot of Battlefield maps in my time. I know this is going to upset some of you, right? That is what it is. If you enjoy it, good for you, but these are just my thoughts and opinions. The copy and pasted Arica Harbour that is just so repetitive, it feels like you've already played the map before you've even played it. Haven is so mind-numbingly boring and repetitive, it's a good thing I had a flight out to Austria the day after Season 7 released. If I didn't have this holiday booked, I would have actually feared for my mental health of having to force myself to play this game. You would have to drown yourself in IPAs and spirits to blur your vision to even somewhat enjoy Haven. Now, if you've seen my last two videos on the SCZ and the AC9, I actually didn't mind the map too much. When Haven released, I actually only played about five to six games, and it wasn't really that bad. The first video that I ever done on the map and like first impressions was the SCZ3 video. If you haven't seen that already, I'd recommend watching it. But yeah, it's just my first impressions uh, along with the SCZ. And yeah, Haven is beyond repetitive and campy. It just feels like there was no real soul being put into the map design. I know some of you enjoy this map, but me personally, I just can't really enjoy it unless I am playing on the RU side. The audio that you're listening to now, I've actually recorded after I've already edited this video because it was that bad. I don't know how everybody on the EA Creator Network that play tested this map didn't mention this, or if they did, how has DICE not acted on it? The RU team has a massive advantage over the US side. They can get to pretty much every other flag quicker and i'm gonna have some gameplay in the background as well going throughout this video of where i kept getting spawn trapped from flags that weren't being contested and that's from spawning on c1 d1 and b1 i just don't understand it like what the hell when dice play tested this how was this not apparent and when all of these people from the ea creator network play tested it as well how was it not apparent again bear in mind as well a lot of these creators are actually fairly skilled at the game surely this would have been an issue and come up I guess because they had AI in the game, it was a little bit different, but even still, it, I just, I don't understand how this happened and how it wasn't picked up as soon as people play tested. The enemies can get to C1, D1 and B1 quicker. This one game I played with Maz earlier, we literally spawned in, got to A1, I think we just finished capping it or nearly did, and the enemies already had B1, C1 and D1. We were literally spawn trapped within 30 seconds of starting the game. The RU team definitely has an advantage when it comes to getting to the flags quicker. And pretty much any team that covers B1 and C1, they're pretty much running the map. By saying that, actually, you've only really got to hold C1. Because from C1, you have complete vision over B1, and you can see the enemies literally spawn in and the open because they've only got like two or three buildings, and if you destroy the walls, they're buggered. And from C1, you can also see D1. Everything is out in the open. I don't know what DICE were thinking when they made this, but God, I, I don't understand. It was so fucking frustrating. The fact you can literally spawn on a flag that you have fully captured, it's not being contested and the enemies will see you, it's just beyond a joke. There is not enough cover on this map. And if the enemies are somewhat competent with their vehicles like a tank and they destroy the buildings, you're literally fucked. Not only that as well, I had it where I spawned on, I think it was B1, and there was I literally spawned in front of a ram. The ram can just skirt across the map. I don't know why they put it on here. If you're going to put regular tanks in, fair enough. They're annoying as it is, but there was no need for the rams to be added. And since the assault class nerf, where they can only carry two C5s now, which I, I kind of understand why they've done it. They're trying to push the approach of engineers onto vehicles. But McKay's grappling hook was absolutely clutch for taking out annoying vehicles like these that have extreme mobility. The cav being the worst one for it. The cav has a close weapon defense system, which just shoots out grenades or incendiaries or whatever the hell it is. And it takes four C5s to destroy the cav. And without McKay's grappling hook, I don't see it being possible. I know this isn't a haven problem, but on every other map it's going to be. And it has been for me. I honestly think this is the worst designed map we have ever had on Battlefield 2042. At least with Breakaway, Hourglass, Kaleidoscope, terrible maps like that, you can actually spawn. You ain't going to spawn into the line of fire of enemies. Especially playing this a week later as well. Obviously, because I went on holiday. People have had enough time to learn the map. Not that you really need to learn the map, but people know the cheesiest tactics to win the game. And if these people are on the RU team in your US, you are literally stuffed. 
I know this is going to really upset people, but yeah, I, I don't care what you say. This is the worst designed Battlefield 2042 map I think we have ever had. It's left a very sour taste in my mouth, and the fact that we now have to wait probably two to three months until the mid-season, where we're then going to get Stadium. And I really hope Stadium plays better than Haven. Along with my thoughts of thinking the whole Season 7 thing of them promoting two new maps is an absolute con. I've already covered this in a video, and I feel like everyone feels the exact same. Putting them feelings aside, yeah, I really do hope Stadium plays better and feels a lot more fresh than Haven. I remember playing with Snooze and Maz, and we were around the petrol station. I can't remember which flag it is. It's either, is it IU side or the US side? I can't remember. But anyway, you'll know the petrol station. The Snooze said, he was like, I feel like I've seen this somewhere before. And I'm like, yeah, this is literally the petrol station out of Caspian border. Literally copy and paste. Now, I do need to clarify, I'm not against the use of reusing assets. I'm 100% for it, right? I don't mind it. However, I feel like the overall feel of Haven is what really brought it down, and then it really makes it shine. When you can see these glaring, obvious reused assets, you just feel like, oh, like I already know this map. I already know the feeling. It doesn't feel unique. I feel like if they designed Haven a whole lot better and a lot more differently, I probably wouldn't have this feeling in my gut everything of the map just feels way too familiar and the buildings oh my god i'll tell you what dice may as well give you a default load up for this map with a tent is a gadget you can do well running around and in my top five weapons video that's going to be out very soon you're going to see me running around but i'll tell you what is really hit and miss if you have a very competent enemy team you'll more than likely end up getting spawn trapped. The vehicles will just blow the buildings apart and they'll be nowhere to hide. I feel like personally there is not enough cover on this map and I don't like the fact that one side is elevated more than the other. And what I mean by that is vertically when you're going up the map, whether you're on US or RU side, it's either the right or the left that is higher. And these buildings then tower over the D flag too, which I, I really dislike. The amount of times I've been literally spawn killed from spawning on the flag, whether it's contested or we actually hold the flag, is ridiculous. It is so easy to spawn trap and spawn kill on this map. We've all wanted close quarter combat and admittedly we've reclaimed. Being our first 64 player dedicated map, they did have vehicles. But me personally, I actually love Reclaimed, and it's, it's kind of sad that I haven't actually played it since Season 6 began, because I don't want to search for 64 player Conquest, because every other map on that rotation is terrible. You've got Redacted on there obviously now, but you're going to get every other single map along with the portal maps. Redacted was obviously infantry only, I still feel like it was quite poorly designed, I know some of you again are going to enjoy it, but I feel like we needed zips down both sides as well as more flanking opportunities because, god, whenever you play Redacted now, or even like two or three weeks after it released and people had sort of figured the map out, people would just be camping the stairs in zips. And now we've got a similar situation here with Haven where people just sit in buildings. They know the cheesiest way to play. And a lot of people have been praising the new destruction. There's new destruction on Haven. They've taken it up another level. No, they haven't. They've literally just used the Arica Harbour buildings and they're just as destructible as they've always been. Nothing's different. It's more destructible, admittedly, than the regular 2042 maps. But there's nothing new about it. There's absolutely nothing new about Haven. And if you enjoy Haven, good for you. You know, I'm happy for you. But like, as someone who's been supporting this game literally since day one release, that's how long I've been playing when we had the broken hit reg and oh god it was just an absolute mess i've been playing from day dot and although redacted wasn't like my biggest cup of tea i could still enjoy it when it played well which was very rare because you're normally just fighting between the b and c flags but with haven i'm struggling more and more to enjoy this map i got to admit though the vehicles don't feel too overpowered on this map i'm glad that they've made it very limited it should be that way especially on a 64 player map that's the one gripe i got with reclaimed is on reclaimed well i I'm going to say this all around anyway. I don't think the cab roller should even be in the game. The fact that it hasn't had a nerf to mobility is stupid. And I know that they've now reduced the amount of C5 you get with recon and assault. But McKay's grappling hook was the best way to get to a vehicle. Cavs, especially, are now more overpowered than they've ever been. I mean, yeah, you've got engineers, but an engineer can't get as close to a cab roller as easily as a McKay can. So yeah, I'm not really enjoying Haven, to be honest. I think it's a very lazy attempt of a map. And the fact they branded this season as having two new maps when it's not one's copy and pasted and the other's literally a fragment of a previous map that they then removed and then made into like a new addition. I'm just, I am really praying the stadium plays well. I've slagged stadium off quite a lot, but yeah, I'm really hoping it plays a hell of a lot better than Haven. 
the amount of angles you can get shot from. It, it pretty much just forces you to play really ratty and there's no other way around it. I find most of the time, if I'm playing on my own, which I've done today, which I, I never do, I'm normally the only one running smokes. Whenever I play with Maz and Snooze and stuff, they do run smokes too, but it seems to be a lot of people don't run smokes and I, I really don't understand why. They're the best things to push through to objectives and get past enemy lines and they're also amazing for flanking. Talking about the new weapons though, the SEZ3, I feel like it's pretty decent. I wouldn't say it's overpowered and for once, Dice have actually done a fairly good job of tuning them. The SEZ definitely feels like a SMG AR hybrid. The AK-5C is then just definitely a mid-tier weapon in my opinion. The PBX, the PP-29, the AC-9, even the K-30s pretty passable now and the SCZ is just added to that but the SMGs are actually pretty decent and I do enjoy what they've done with the headshot multipliers. The ARs definitely needed a nerf in that region and the SMGs 100% needed a buff. I don't care what anyone says about that. The headshot multiplier for the SMGs has been absolutely terrible since they originally nerfed it. I don't personally feel like the SEZ really needs any balancing done at the moment i feel like it's in a pretty good spot the ak5c's mid tier it could probably do with a little bit of a buff but i'm actually quite happy with what they've done here and they haven't gone down their old route with like the rm68 and the vhx where total fps actually confirmed on twitter that they do purposely overtune these battle pass weapons because it's easier to bring them down to the other weapons however with the vhx that was just ridiculous it took them like three or four months to even minorly nerf it but these weapons do feel like they're in a good spot i do need to use the ak5c a little bit more i've still got to make a video on it but yeah, overall, I'm feeling very happy with the way the weapons have been dealt with this season. The visual recoil, I haven't actually said a lot about this, but yeah. But since I've been away and a visual recoil was introduced, I've seen there's been an absolute ton of visual recoil bugs. I know some people are saying it's not that bad, some people are saying it's horrendous. From a technical standpoint, there are some weapons and attachments that are absolutely horrendous. I know the marksman rifles, like the EMR, is really bad. I've seen some people using the bipod and their guns just shooting everywhere with reflex sight. Some of the weapons definitely need their visual recoil tune in, but then there's some of them that are like absolutely absolutely horrendous. Visual recoil as a whole, in my opinion, just didn't need to be added. Like, okay, it's kind of nice to have, but nobody was asking for it and their time and effort could have spent improving other things. For example, a server browser we still don't fucking have in the game. The main reason why I can't play Reclaimed. If we had a server browser, I could actually play maps that I like to play and want to play. Now we've got Haven on a 24-7 playlist, they're probably going to keep it like that. More than likely, Redacted is going to get pushed away just like Reclaimed did. And in Season 6, I don't know why they didn't do like a 64 player mashup of like the new seasonal maps which is reclaimed and redacted and i feel like the same needs to be done with haven it's been 24 7 now for a week and i'm making this video before the week is actually done but me personally i would love to see them just put all three of these maps together in like a 64 player conquest mode just on like a constant rotation if we ain't got a server browser we at least need that i mean come on dice a server browser is so so basic i mean battlefield 3 has a fucking server browser and it's 13 years old talking about server browsers and that dice still has haven't cleared up the huge fucking mess that is Portal. Why is Portal constantly spammed and filled with these XP farming, unlock, boost, and servers that are absolutely pointless and do not work? If you want to farm attachments for weapons and vehicles, or even unlocking weapons and vehicles, head into Solo vs AI. It is the quickest and most efficient way to do it. Me, Maz, and Snooze actually spoke about this in a little podcast episode we'd done, and it, it just doesn't make sense. They have such a massive missed opportunity with Portal, and it feels so jarring that they are still ignoring it. I mean, hell, you could pour over more older maps you could bring more vault weapons into all out warfare people would be happy with it but we've got absolutely nothing from ball and we haven't done for a very long time when it comes to maps they added these maps from the original games like 1942 battlefield 3 and bad company 2 and then that was it nothing has ever been said or addressed and it's been two and a half years i even tried getting some stuff out of the dice devs and total fps when they were streaming quite a few months back now i think it was just before season six and i just got ignored it's like they don't like talking about portal all they have to do is clear it up as well there are so many brilliantly made portal experiences on there and they could be featured on the homepage, but they're not instead the decent gamers people are actually making are just sitting at the back hidden behind these bullshit servers of xp farming and weapon unlocks i could go on forever about portal but you know let's just get off of that subject before i get really angry on weapon balancing as well obviously we don't have access to the new lmg yet we've got to wait until the mid-season event 
I assume is going to be a vent anyway. And that's what they normally do. And we'll have to see if that is OP. I'm, I'm really hoping because they balance these first two weapons that they really do a good job on the LMG. I used to use LMGs quite a bit, but then when they brought in the sprint to fire delay stuff, man, I couldn't I couldn't touch them anymore. It just, it, it promotes camping. And I know some people are going to say you shouldn't be running around slide cancelling and drop shotting with an LMG. I'm not saying that, but if you tack sprint and then pull your trigger, your gun will be fully down for like a full second before you can even pull the trigger. Overall, Season 7, I feel like the changes they've made in the patch notes and stuff are actually pretty decent. I'm not going to cover everything here because there is a lot. And overall, they have done a lot of good for Season 7. I feel like the biggest disappointment and downside to this season is the two new maps. Or one new map, sorry, I should say. Really hated the way they marketed it. And yeah, going about Stadium being a new map when it's not and then Haven being copy and pasted. Now, one thing that does really irritate me, and I spoke about this in the podcast and I think I spoke about it in a previous video. Yeah, I did. It was a Season 7 trailer. And it's the fact we've got all these EA creator network people that don't seem to criticize DICE at all. Some are a lot worse than others when it comes to this, but they don't make videos on it. They don't seem to talk about it in their streams. But I just don't understand how like these EA creator network people, right, could have played early access to this season and not given DICE constructive criticism. Or maybe they did behind closed doors, but I don't just, I don't feel like they did. They should bring back community test servers, get people like myself, right? Smaller creators and just overall players in general, people that do actively play the game, let them test out and give you honest opinions. Because every single early access gameplay that come out for season seven was all hashtag ad, hashtag sponsored. And we know for a fact, there's a lot of people like Jack Frags that just played 2042 when it seems to be convenient to him. There's rumors of people getting paid as well to do videos on this in the EA Creator Network. I don't think that is the case, but I think all these EA Creator Network people, they don't actually criticize the game just so they can keep their foot in with EA and get early access to these games. So they can be the first people to upload gameplay and content on these seasonal stuff. And yeah, I just, I really don't like the way season seven was pushed. The fact that they had people streaming season seven from DICE, the only person recognizable there was Squid G. The rest of them people had never heard of in the Battlefield community, and I've never heard of them streamers in general anyway. They had women playing it, but uwu types, and you know for a fact they've never touched 2042 in their life. And it's, uh, it's been managed very, very poorly. I do like all the minor changes that have been added in Season 7, along with the weapons. But yeah, Haven, it's an absolute write-off for me. Again, if you enjoy it, good for you. It doesn't suit my playstyle. I'm a very aggressive player. If i got a full squad, we can kind of manage it. But yeah, the camping and all that stuff, I just, I absolutely hate it.